Well, another another great football game uh, for the fans, I guess. But uh, you know, uh, one of the reasons I love this football team is they got you know no quit them. They will never quit. Uh, they continue to fight and fight and fight and and always feel like they have a chance at the end of the game uh, to win it. And and uh, once again, at the end of the football game, we got a chance to, to win it. We got to make a few more plays. You know, we, we start slow again. We got to find a way to you know jump start. Uh, I'm gonna have to put, bring my jumper cables out or something. Uh, but, uh, you know, jumpstart the, the uh, offense and the defense. I mean, defensively, we give up two touchdowns in the first half. They get a couple big plays, hit a flea flicker on us, and, you know, score 14, uh, or at least two points, 14 of the points in the, in the first half. And then we hold them to six points in the second half. Um, it's just a matter of getting comfortable with the situation, I guess. And, and, uh, and then, obviously, you can't, you, know, you can't win football games if you don't score. And, uh, um, but, you know, our kids came back. Quadri Olsen had a heck of a kickoff return. Our, continu- our kids continue to fight. And, and scratch for whatever they could get. So, uh, questions? You look at this loss, the, the last two, the Notre Dame and North Carolina, they all involve you guys spotting the other team big leads. Is there any common thread to when you fall behind early in the first half in those three games? You know, not really making plays. You know, I mean, give them credit. Now it's a good football team. Uh, they got some great athletes, and I'm sure a few of those guys will get drafted um, off that football team. So they got a good team. They, they were, you know, they were sound, and uh, which we knew we would face. And, uh, and they came ready to play, but they made the plays in the first half, and we didn't. You said you were going to know a little bit earlier than you did. You know what? Not really. I mean, uh, you know, we, we had to continue. I mean, I think we, when, we, when we needed to at the end of the game, um, we did. Um, uh, but in, until after uh, Darren Hall has that touchdown run, I mean, I don't think there's any urgency to get going. I mean, we still got to be who we are, and, and uh, I don't know if you want to get into just slinging it around, you know, in the, in, you know, early in the third quarter. And, and getting behind the sticks because they got some guys that can rush the pass. You got to keep, you know, front four like that uh, off balance with a little bit of run game, or you're in for a long day. If you just, you know, this ain't this ain't video game football, um, and uh, you know you, you can get your quarterback, you know, smacked if you're dropping back, throwing it every down. You don't give those offensive linemen a chance to block anybody. What was your evaluation of Nate's performance today? Um, it was okay. I mean, we'll go back and watch the tape. I mean, Nate, Nate, you know. It's, it's not for a lack of trying, I can tell you that. Uh, like I said, you give, give credit, and uh, it ain't one guy. It's 11 on the field, each snap out there today. And, uh, you know, um, you know we'll, we'll look at it on tape, and uh, everybody has bad days, and, and everybody has good days. And, and the same goes for the coach. So it is not one guy. It's, it's There's 105 of them in that locker room, and we all got a piece of it as players and coaches. When the uh, third and long before the, the missed field goal, you had your starting wide receivers off the field. Any reason for that? Maybe exhaustion. I don't know. Maybe ate too much turkey. Um, but, you know, exhaustion. There was no reason physically. Um, just, you know, he needed a blow. All and, three uh, huh? You get all three of them. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how, how many plays that was, but, yeah, you know, we didn't pull them for a reason, I can tell you that. I'm uh, sure you wanted to be 12 and 0, 8 and 4. You're just assessment overall your first year here. You know, um, you know not where we want to be. I mean, we, we got to win. Uh, some of those big games, and and uh, I mean, you'd like to. There's, there's 12 games you like to win 12, so you're never going to be happy until you get every one of them. And um, that's just that's just our kids' mindsets. And like I said, that's that's why I love that team so much. They're, they're going to fight, and they're going to continue to try to give you everything they got. That's all you can ask as a coach. What did Darren Hall show you early that led him to get more playing time as the game went on? You know, it was it was twofold, really. I mean, he, he was running the ball. I think you know, on his first carry, he was like. You know, it looked like he was shot out of a cannon, sticking it up in there. So I think he, you know, like I've said, you know, you guys keep asking me who's, you know, it's or, or. And uh, we got capable backs back there. But, uh, you know, I think Quadra had a little toe that was bothering him. And, and uh, he didn't, you know, he didn't look as good. And, and then when Darren got in there, he was, you know, throwing it up in there. The only reason I told you toe, Jerry, is because I know we got a few days. I know you like those injury reports. But he had a little turf toe, so I figured I'd give you, because I don't think that'll be a problem for the next game. You guys showed a lot of energy in the second half. Is there anything in particular you said to them that you think kind of lit a um, Not that we can share in here, but we, you know, we just got you know, I didn't feel like we had the energy in the first half. I, you know, I don't know why, but the kids came out a little bit better energy uh, in the second half. And you know, sometimes you know, on senior day, um, you know, I've seen the guys kind of you know, um, you know, not play as well. Period. And uh, I don't know if that was the case or not, but sometimes it's tough. There's a lot of emotions out there in a game like that, and and uh, you know, you got a lot of seniors. Playing, playing their last ball game in, in Heinz Field, and sometimes that plays a factor. I don't know, it's just you know speculation. But you know, you wonder why the energy wasn't there in the first half. I didn't feel it. Did you think you'd have more? Uh, did you think you'd have more success getting to go? <coughs> no, no sacks today. Did you think you'd have more success? Well, you know, um, you'd like to. Um, 
but you know they've given up 15 sacks on a year, so it wasn't you know wasn't like they were you know giving up uh, 30 sacks on a year. So I mean they they get rid of the ball quick. Uh, Kaya does a good job at you know finding his open receiver, and um, you know I think we've had some opportunities to get him, and, and we didn't get get it done. But uh, you know give give them credit for getting the ball out quickly. Coach, have you had a chance to think about a possible bowl scenario where you'd like to end up? No, we don't make those. We don't sit there and say we want to go here and. And, uh, and we don't get to choose. So uh, Scott Barnes and uh, our athletic department will, will take care of that. And, and wherever they send us, uh, we'll go and get ready for a football game. Pat, do you feel like the, the, you have this program pointed in the right direction at this point? No doubt about it. I mean, I think, you know, uh, there's no doubt about it. I mean, do you, do, is there things you can look up to and say, hey, we got this? I mean, you know, talk about 12 wins and, and eight wins. Um, but uh, you know, you'd like to have them all, but you're never satisfied. But are we going in the right direction? There's no question we're going in the right direction. I mean, our kids are playing with an attitude. They're playing tough, and they're giving everything you got, and that's all we can uh, expect out of them. And it is what it is. Um, that's what that's what we have, and, and our kids. You know, again, you know, I, 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 I applaud them for working their tails off like they do, not only on game day, but in practice. Those guys give us everything that you ask for, and and, and more. Sort of along the same lines, do you, do you feel like this team got better as the year went on? You know, I don't think there's any question about it. You look at the last two weeks, you know, um, you know, I think we've, you know, moved the ball and scored more points. I was hoping to see, you know, that same explosion uh, today that, you know, we didn't get to see. And again, give credit to a, uh, an athletic defense at Miami. Um, but, you know, there's no question we got better as the year went on. That's easy to see as you watch tape on Sunday mornings. Do you think that the athleticism of the Miami players, especially like their backs out of the backfield, gave you guys problems? You know, I don't know. I mean, you know, you had to go back and watch the tape. But, uh, you know, we knew they were athletic coming in. But, um, you know, I think we were in position to make plays at times. I don't know if I – I think one time I saw Caprera, and I don't know what, you know, the tailback did on the one kind of wheel route, which we, we knew they'd line up in gun X trips and, and, and try to throw a wheel route on the backside. And, um, and, you know, I don't know I don't know what happened. He kind of snuck away from I don't know if he went in and out. Uh, we have to see the tape, but um, you know, we made our plays and, and we missed our plays. Really, I was disappointed with some of the outside zone that uh, they, they got going early.